What about websites? We've kind of touched a little bit on it here and there, but now let's get more specific. So here we have the last name first and first name last. So Homethel, Stephanie, period. So many books, 2003 to 2013, and here's a website address. Okay, what do we have here? Let's break this down. This is obviously the author. This is the person who wrote something. What's the title of what they wrote? Well, so many books. Now, is this inside parentheses? No, it's not. It's not inside parentheses, which tells us something, doesn't it? It is italicized, which is the same as underlined, which means it's a larger thing. It's the container. It's the whole thing rather than one piece. What is this whole thing? So many books. What is that? Well, that looks like the name of a blog on a website. So there's a website and that site is called So Many Books. That's the whole site. And this site could have hundreds or thousands of posts. And those posts are small pieces. In this case, we're not citing one piece. We're citing the whole thing. We're doing some research and we're saying, hey, that's interesting. Look at that. And when was that site being posted to? 2003 to 2013. And what is the site's address? Here we cite the address. Now look, we do not have the HTTP uh, colon slash slash. We don't do that. We just have the address by itself, independent. What if somebody sends you an email and you want to use that in your research? Well, you can do that also. We begin with the very basic one, right? The author. Who sent you the email? Who's the author? And in this case, very simple. Use the name and what do we do? Remember, last name first, first name last. So in this case, Boyle, last name Anthony, and middle name is T, and then we have a period. Now then, we have a quotation mark. What does quotation mark tell us? Remember, quotation mark is telling us this is a piece of something bigger. Is this piece? This is one email. So this email, how do we give it a name? Well, we use the subject line. So the subject line of this email, whoops, back here. The subject name of this email was R E Utopia. And then we specify received by Daniel J. Cahill. So this is the person who received it. If this is me and I received it, then this would be my name, comma. When did you receive it? 21 June. So it's the day and the month and the year. And there's no commas in there at all. 